Starting to drop, starting to drop. There it goes. Oh, uh, physics? Goddamn track, there's always in the way. God, I love it. God, I fucking love it. Like, seriously, we're not allowed to drive tractors on the road sometimes, depending on the cop. But the AI can just drive whatever they want. Doesn't matter if it doesn't have plate. In there, doesn't have plate, don't worry. It's fine. Eek. There's not much um, civs on, but there's quite a few search and rescue, Dolphin 1. So I'm gonna do a scenario with my micro light that I bought the other day. And uh, I'm thinking I might go down to the city, have a fly around. Kind of like um, the mobile thing where we just look around and see what there is. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe have a slight el el elgin? <laughs> engine malfunction. Right, I want my micro light. Boom, look at that. That's cool. I'd love to fly one of these, I really would. What does first person look like in this? That's not bad. That's quite good, actually. Uh, what button is it to turn? Right, bumpers to turn on the ground. Let's taxi out to the runway. Uh, yeah, that's almost straight. And take off. Oh, whoa. That was unexpected. Did not mean to do that. Right, let's go fly down to the city. This is actually really cool. Gotta love the little engine on the back. <laughs> little four cylinder. That's actually really awesome. Get some amazing. I'm gonna take a fly around the Alamo, I think. So if I cruise over these mountains. Oh. It automatically turns my head when I turn. That is interesting. I was looking right. Look at Rattan Canyon. That is so cool. Like, this game's five years old and the graphics still look amazing on it. It, it really does. It's a really cool looking game. The railroad tracks down there. Oh, I'm diving towards the ocean. Right, let's take a fly down towards Grapeseed. I'm going to see if I can land a Grapeseed. Should be a nice little test. Right, there's the docks down there. So we're coming into Grapeseed Runway. I'm just going to cut the power back a little bit. Yeah, you can hear it go. The turbulence is quite bad because it's such a small aircraft. And um, let's try and make the runway in Grapeseed. I don't think we're actually descending. No, we're not. Where's the altimeter? There it is. So the altimeter is the bottom right dial. About 400 feet. Now we're starting to descend quite well. Can't even see the runway because that bar. 300. Come on. Dead descend. 200. I think I just cut the engine. That's fine. We can make the runway. Come on. 200. Eek. Come on. This is hard to control. There's no rudder. Touchdown. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Touchdown. Oh, I love it. That was actually a really cool landing. Right, now I'm going to turn right and we're going to uh, take off again. Right, let's take back off now. Oh, wow, this accelerates quick. Into the sky. I did change my attire to make me more visible. And um, we're just going to go for a flight around the state and then maybe at the end have a. Um, Minor emergency. What's that on the back? I think that's the radiator, isn't it? That's cool. I love the way that someone just turned around and said, I wonder if I can make, like, just a flying thing just for me. With, like, basically a kite with an engine. And then just did it, and it got approved, and they started making them. Because that's basically what this is. It's a kite with an engine. It is cool. I'd love to do it. Do you like my aviator's goggles? <laughs> Oh. Right, let's fly. I'm thinking Raton Canyon. And then safe down the coast to uh, Del Perro. I think this will be quite an interesting scenario. Um, why do I not have my altitude and map on? 
I know, my bank doesn't appear either. I think something broke when I loaded in. Um, check the map actually still works. Yeah, it does. That's fine then. That's all I really need for search and rescue, is a location. Raton Canyon looks beautiful. I'd love to have somewhere like this near my house, just where I could go and just relax. Have a look at things, maybe pet some wildlife. It really is amazing. Very steep terrain. Oh, my lag, my my lag, my um, game's lagging a bit. The views are amazing. I, I love this game. Like, even if you get bored of the vanilla game, there's so many mods and visual packs and sound packs that you can just change everything and then do it again. Like, I've played through Grand Theft Auto, the story missions, like, it's gotta be 20, 30 times now. Because when I first got it, it was on Xbox 360, and I completed that about five times. And then I got it on PC and had to do it again, and I just kept doing it, because I got bored. Or I'd get a new mod and say, right, I'm gonna redo the story missions, but instead of the vanilla weapons, I'm gonna have MP5s with the real sounds. It is, it is a good game, Grand Theft Auto. I can't wait for Grand Theft Auto 6. I think that'll be um, really good, Grand Theft Auto 6. The map, oh, I, I guarantee it's going to be huge. Right, the military base is there, so I need to fly out into the ocean a little bit. So if I maybe level out here, and just start heading this way maybe, and then cut around the... Uh, land that sticks out and goes safe down towards the pier. <laughs> the top speed of this thing is only 55. That's great. I'd love to know how high we are, but as I said, my map is not working at the moment. I reckon we're around four, five hundred feet. I fly south around this landmass. Unless it's just that the map doesn't work in an airplane. But no, I don't think that's right. I'm sure I had the map. Yeah, I had the map in the helicopter yesterday. Hmm. Not sure then. Because I bought a um, Frogger helicopter to get to and from Drug Island. That's why I got like 2.6 million in my bank and 100,000 in my pocket. Look at the military base. That's cool. It'd be sick if they had like an Area 51 thing in Grand Theft Auto 6. Just like a massive place where you automatically get five stars if you go in there. And you could have like loads of Easter eggs. That would be amazing. Lago Zancudo. That's very Florida like. I can imagine seeing something like that in Florida. Like I know this game's based in California, but OCRP is Florida based. And that does look very Florida. Lago Zancudo with the bridge like that. I was just looking around this cockpit. I'm surprised there's no, like, rev gauge for the engine. That's just occurred to me, because it sounds like the engine is revving really high. So it is surprising that there's no rev gauge, just to make sure your engine doesn't burn out. Hmm. I don't know, perhaps there is in the real one, or perhaps I'm missing it. What have we got all together? A altimeter, a vertical speed, fuel gauge, uh, speed, direction, and how level we are. Right, let's let's lose some altitude as we go down over the beach. I want to go down to, according to that, we're at 1,100 feet, I believe. Or is that just not working? Yeah, 1,100 feet. So I'm thinking if I go down to 500 feet, then go along the beach at about that altitude. So come on, descend, 600, and coming up on 500 now, yeah, let's, let's stick around the 500 mark, and have a look at the, uh, the city, those apartments there, I don't know if that's a hotel or apartments, but either way that would be nice to stay in on the uh, corner there, just behind the gas station. That would be really cool to stay in. 
Alright, let's head out a little bit so I can get a good screenshot. Oh! Uh, our engines died. No. Shit, let's, let's try and make the beach. No, we're not gonna make it. Okay, little tip, if you ever have to ditch a plane in the ocean, go parallel to the waves. So, there's the waves. Come on. It's gliding quite well at the moment. I want to be level when I hit the ocean. And then pull up at the last second. Nope, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Okay, we're, we're getting close now. And... Oh my god, this thing floats like hell. Oh, it's starting to drop. It's starting to drop, starting to drop. There it goes. Oh! Uh, physics? <laughs> I need to get out. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Come on. Uh. Ah. Uh, um. Um. How's it just floating there like that? What? Okay, that's weird. That is really... <laughs> that's totally not legit. Anonymize that. Emergency, lo be emergency locator beacon activated in Atlantic Ocean west of 311. Reports of small plane crashing into the ocean. Um, yep, yeah, that sounds good. Send that. And uh, I guess wait for help to arrive. Um... I'm gonna act like the tide is dragging me out to out to sea because realistically I could swim that. If that happened in real life I would just swim. I'd be pissed off but I'd swim. So if the tide is taking me and I'm gonna start heading north because that's the way the tide is going right now. And I guess just wait for the um the Coast Guard. There's a is that a helicopter? No, that's a bird. Oh, the weather's changed. That is... That's actually better for the scenario. I hope it starts raining now. I'm going to start heading this way. How deep is the ocean here? Uh, that deep? <laughs> oh, there's the... Yeah. Let's not go down to the bottom. We'll die. I'm just going to be like, Yeah, dude, I can't, I, I can't swim. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to... That's a shark. That is a shark. Do not get eaten by a shark, please. Please. Let, I'm just going to go this way. There was a freaking shark. Swim. Swim away, swim away. Okay, I definitely hear it. There it is. I hear the helicopter. There it is. Hey. Hey. Help. Hey. Help me. I, I can't point. Just swim. Help! Here, help me! Can I point at it? No, yes, kind of. Point, no, I can't point into the sky. I can't even see it no more. There it is. Help! Help! <laughs> I have to go first person to see it. Help me! I can have to swim towards it. <laughs> help! <laughs> oh, wow. Help me! Here! Help! Yes, you see you see me, please, please you see me. Yes, you see you 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 see me. You help! <laughs> this is so not legit. Help me! <laughs> you I will point at you. You will help me. Yay! They come in! Help me! <laughs> Having voice box issues. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I can't say anything. Uh, let me yes, read. Coast Guard rescued Summer Sir. I'm here to help you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Awesome. I, I thought my voice wasn't working. My my plane crashed, and and there was a shark. Alrighty, uh, don't worry about that shark too much. I'm sure he, he, won't, he won't bother with us. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna wrap this around you, and we're just gonna kind of float here. We got a uh, we got a boat coming. Oh, thank God. 
my engine just... I don't know what happened, it just started failing and just fell out the sky. Alright, come on boat. Let's get on the boat. Alright, here we are. As soon as I get stopped, we'll get you up there. We'll get a space blanket on you and get you warm back up. Uh, okay, awesome. Let him get on first. Okay, I'll get on first then. Have a seat, get a blanket on, get warm. Yep, step right in get here and warm. take a seat. And I'll grab a plate for you. Alright, you wanna get us back in and up to uh, the porta? <laughs> Um, now what can I do? Something to say I'm thankful. Remind um, me of that location. Praise. <laughs> Just up the channel there. <laughs> oh, we're going to the uh, boatyard. They're having a good time. <laughs> Checks pulse. Um, uh, pulse. Strong. No physical injuries acting fine. Uh, blood pressure normal. I don't know what normal blood pressure is, but that's what I have. Alright. Hard. Again, he, oh. he still feeling alright? Not really. No injuries or anything like that? Nope. No, I'm fine. Alrighty, yeah, uh, we got a uh, kind of medical showing up, so they'll just, you know, give you a good look over once to make sure you're alright before they release you. Okay, that'd be awesome, thank you. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Not a problem. Sorry it took me so long. We'll see what we can do about the plane. Uh, I, th I think that's we'll done for. Try. I'll just have to yeah. clean Yeah, but we I, I, may have to remove it from the water. Yeah, we'll have to put some kind of recovery company out here. Uh, it, it was floating last time I saw it. It drifted a bit, but it was floating on the surface okay, so it might be a bit easier to recover. Right, let's go uh, back to my garage. I wonder if this will open for me. No, nope, of course not. But uh, either way, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you guys come back for the next episode. And I guess I will see you then. Peace out, guys.